technology affects people across the globe. Advances in technology have made our lives easier and convenient. However, Northeast region of India, despite being highly resourceful, has not been able to convert natural endowments into economic benefits of the Northeast region due to lack of science and technology interventions. And this resulted in the establishment of a nodal center in the Northeast region in the form of an autonomous organization called the Northeast Center for Technology Application and Reach, Nectar, in 2012. Nectar is responsible for the development of Northeast region, headquartered in Shillong. Nectar's mandate is to be a solution designer as well as provide technology applications and support which address the problems of the Northeast. Nectar is an autonomous body under Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The main objective of Nectar is to disseminate technologies to the Northeast region for the overall development of the Northeast region. We are doing at the Mega Techno Demo Center in Guwahati, where uh, this will be the first of this kind in our country, where all indigenous technology that has been developed in different central universities, different central lab of our country would be demonstrated in the Techno Demo Center at Guwahati. The center is committed to its mission of delivery, induction, management, use and extension of technology applications at the ground level thereby serving public and creating livelihoods and employment, especially among the underprivileged and disadvantaged communities. Nectar's core area of activities are bamboo applications, agro-processing, skill development activities, geospatial applications, communication, the center has developed and disseminated many technologies in the Northeast and has also implemented large number of training as well as capacity building programs. With development of new technologies, there was a substantial transformation in the bamboo sector with its value rising from a mere 10% to a mammoth 70%. With the utilization of the natural high tensile strength and the weight to strength of bamboo, the center has developed various bamboo composites and made advances in structural engineering which find applications in earthquake resistant, lightweight, durable and aesthetic construction housing and functional structures. In addition to this, several other technologies for the bamboo sector have also been developed by the center. Bamboo shoots carry the potential of value-added economic activity at the entrepreneurial and community level through cultivation, processing and packaging. The centre has successfully developed bamboo-based gasifiers which produce clean and renewable electricity and a variety of valuable by-products such as high-grade charcoal and activated carbon. The center has also successfully come up with many other bamboo products and composites which have great industrial applications like bamboo plastic and jute composite, bathroom sanitary and electrical products, blinds, acrylic mold products etc. Nectar has also intervened in setting up of commercial units for these products like bamboo composites, flooring tiles, bamboo sticks, processed bamboo shoots etc. The center has also bridged the gap between the producer and consumer by introducing the bamboo markets on e-marketing platforms in order to benefit the supported units and local people of Northeast. The center has also led numerous skill training programs, especially in the various activities of community construction and mat making for skill development of rural masses. Around 2,50,000 people were trained by the center. The craft of agarbatti rolling and weaving has also been supported by the center in order to provide an opportunity for conflict-affected women to improve their social and economic situation. Erstwhile NMBA has supported bamboo shoot processing units at various locations in northeastern region. Marketing linkages were created to popularize the bamboo shoots in northern parts of India. The center has also supported setting up of agro and food processing units. These include bamboo shoot, pineapple processing units and king chili pickle making units also. 
The centre has also provided support to numerous organisations for expansion of beekeeping activities and honey processing facilities, supported innovative bee boxes and hives like 675 bee boxes in Kidding Village, Pig District, 1,000 numbers of movable underground concrete hives and 500 fixed underground concrete hives in Mima and Rungzu Village. 1,700 innovative bee boxes were distributed among the farmers of Tvensang district. The center is in the process of setting up a honey testing laboratory. Nectar has also tied up with other institutes to tap and demonstrate technologies in the field of renewable energy resources which include solar, wind, biomass and hybrid processes. The unmanned aerial vehicle UAV system technology has been designed by Nectar for mapping and surveillance applications. It is an auto-piloted plane that can carry different types of consumer sensors and capture geotagged photographs with inbuilt GPS. Simple to operate as well as launch, the radio-controlled model glider plane is equipped with a small GPS, a miniature autopilot and consumer-grade digital camera. The UAV can fly at approximately up to 200 meters above the ground and acquire the digital photographs. In a time of uncertainty and insecurity like today, we need to find solutions that address the matter of security for the masses. The center resolved the issue by installing high-speed wireless mesh networks at nine locations with 36 IP-based surveillance cameras in Guwahati. The control room was set up at respective police headquarters with the facility to record the streaming data as per requirement. The advantage of this storage equipment is that stored data can be analyzed on the fly and with a clear video in a central control room. For a very long period of time, the region of Arunachal Pradesh remained with very poor telecommunication connectivity facility due to its location in difficult terrain and impenetrable vegetation. Therefore, wireless and digital communication facility was made possible through software-defined radio in the state, especially interconnectivity with police stations. The network of 78 SDRs and 12 mobile SDRs man packs for voice and data transfer with the headquarters as well as between police stations without any repeaters has been set up. The centre has installed a fail-safe communication network for the state police department. The technological advances are provided by Nectar under an umbrella scheme called Technology Outreach and Services Scheme. Under this scheme, proposals are invited from innovative, capable and interested individuals, firms, NGOs or government entities to name a few, wherein linkages with individuals and institutions are established to deliver technology solutions to the northeastern region. These technology solutions should have clear potential to generate social or economic growth in the region and create opportunities for the people. The proposals should also have the potential of creating sales of products and services that may be organized and made using the local natural and human resources. Through this scheme, the center strives to focus on activities and schemes that create income and livelihoods for the people of the northeastern region, especially the underprivileged and the disadvantaged communities. The bedrock of human evolution lies in technological evolution, which brings in improvement of human quality as well as their empowerment. However, we also need to ensure that the evolved technologies provide solutions to problems and are not just developed for mere entertainment. This is where institutes like Nectar play a crucial role. It is dedicated towards the environment, towards industries and most importantly, towards humanity. The Department of Science and Technology is completing 50 glorious years in the service of the nation through science and technology. This journey of relevance and excellence has not been a solitary one. All our autonomous organizations have played a critical role in driving forth with quality and focus and speed in their respective areas. They have excelled in their pursuits. I wish all the autonomous organizations and their scientists a very successful future. 
the future is coming at us at faster and faster speeds. I'm sure you'll be fully prepared to meet the challenges and create new opportunities and work for an Atmanirbhar Bharat that can be proud of its S&T depth and spread.